We're going to get started with modifying the Genesis sample theme to add CSS grid layout to the header. As you can see, I've got the header with all content removed. The first thing we want to do is open up our Inspect Element tool. We right click in the header area and click on Inspect Element. As the windows open up, if you've never used Inspect Element before, this is the actual display in the top. This is your source code in HTML. And this is your CSS. If I hover over the site header, you can see it illustrated. The grid display is applied to a parent element. In this case, we want to use the site header wrap, which will become the parent for the title area and the widget area that falls within it. The CSS for site header wrap is here. This is the default that comes out of the Genesis sample theme CSS. First thing I want to do is click here and we're going to display grid. That's all it takes to create a grid area. We can see it if we click on that toggle to show the CSS grid highlighter in Firefox. Now you can see the grid highlighted in the header area. Let's add a little bit of height to the grid so we can see it a little bit more clearly. I'm going to add 200 pixels worth of height. And now you can see the grid expanded. And we're going to start creating columns. The command for creating columns is grid template columns. I said earlier that we are going to use the fraction unit, the FR unit. Let's say I want to split this grid into two equal parts. I just type one FR, one FR. And see what happens? We have two columns now. Let's say I wanted to have something very similar to the default Genesis layout, where it's roughly one third, two thirds. Well, I just have to change the second dimension to two thirds and look what happens. We got one third, two thirds. You can do this as much as you want. If I go into my mobile device responsive mode, you can see that the columns are perfectly responsive as I change the dimensions. They respond to the size of the screen. I can also use pixels. Let's say I want to use a column that is a specific set width. Well, now I have fractional units, one fraction, two fractions, and one that is 200 pixels. What happens when I go back into my responsive design tool? You'll see that the fractional units are responsive, but the one set to pixels is not. It's a fixed width. Let's say I want to add a gap, which would be equivalent to um, spacing between cells on a table. Let's say I want to add 20 pixels of gap. Well, you just use grid gap. And now you've got space between the columns. There's actually a slightly easier notation to use for um, creating equal, equal size spaces. Let's say I want to create three equal size spaces in my grid. I use repeat three, and I make it one fraction each. And now I have three equal size spaces. Let's say we want to do something similar to um, the Elegance Pro. Well, columns would be, um, we, let's do two fractions, one fraction, and then two fractions again. And now we've got a grid set up very similar to Elegance Pro or Modern Pro. 
or, or Refined Pro. It's very easy to set up a responsive grid header using this. 